Hello everyone, welcome to Widget Tricks. In this video, we are going to learn how we can do a periodic refresh of an API call using Riverpod. So currently, we are using Future Builder to get a product list and then if it's successful, we show the list else we show an error or progress bar. Now, what if, if we want to refresh this API call every five seconds? Now, we can do this very easily in Riverpod. Let me show you how. So first, let's create a provider using Riverpod. So I'm going to use Riverpod annotation to generate a provider for me. So I'll create a function which returns a future name product list, and then it will return get product list, which is our API call. Then we are going to generate this code. Now, once our provider is generated, let's replace our future builder with our provider. Now let's replace this future builder using Riverpod async value. So I'm going to use when on product product list and then on data fetch, I will replace with the list view. On error, we are going to use a central text widget and on loading, we are going to use a circular progress indicator. Now let's refresh our app to see if it works. So as we can see, it is working as expected. So in order to periodically refresh, we'll come to our product list provider and here before the get product list, we are going to add a timer with five second duration on the timer completion. We are going to invalidate our product list provider itself. Now let's run the app. Now here, as we can see, it's refreshing in every five seconds, hence it's working. But here we don't see any loading indicator on refresh. So all we need to do is go here and set skip loading on refresh false and let's just rerun it. Now, as we can see on every refresh, we are going to see the loading indicator. Hence, we know that now the API is refreshing on every five seconds. So what's happening behind the scene is that when we call the product list provider, it adds a timer and then call the product list. And once the timer is finished after five seconds, it invalidates self, which basically call this function again. And then it sets the timer of duration five seconds again, and then we call the product list again. And this keep happening again and again in the duration of five seconds. So here we don't have to worry about cleaning up the timer or setting up a periodic timer or creating a stream or anything like that. All you need to do is just create this function and then it keep refreshing every five seconds. Now we can do the same thing to all kind of provider available in Riverport. Even for the custom notifier, we can do the same. So here we are going to create our custom async notifier called custom provider list. which on a build method, we are going to call the get product. Now we are going to copy the same timer logic in the build itself. Now after the code generation, we can get the ref here and then refresh it. Now we are going to use a custom provider list here. And we are going to create here refresh custom. Now let's rerun this. Now here we can see our refresh custom is working as well. It's refreshing in every five seconds. Now one additional thing I'll show here is that if you have a repetitive logic in multiple providers, you can extract that into an extension and then reuse it everywhere. So here we are going to create an extension on a ref with generic T so that we can use every type of provider. And then we'll create a function called refresh in, then pass a duration and then use the same logic for the timer we did in each provider inside this extension. Now to use this extension, 
you have to just call ref dot refresh in and then just pass the duration and all that logic of timer would be handled inside that extension you can do the same with custom provider list you all you need is the ref value now to test that let's run a print statement refresh and let's rerun our app Now, as we can see, it's refreshing every five seconds and also logging the refresh here. Hence is working as expected. So yeah, that's how it's easy to do a periodic refresh in Riverport. You don't have to worry about creating a stream for periodic refresh or a timer in your widget. You don't have to worry about disposing it or anything like that. Because if you use a Riverport annotation where it will automatically auto dispose this provider if it's not longer being used. So you don't have to worry about disposing those things manually. So yeah, that's how you can do a periodic refresh in Riverport. Also, if you are a Flutter developer who just started out on Flutter and wanted to advance their skill, check out my live classes on effectiveflutterdev.com. Thank you. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.